I'm here today with uh, Ken Zaka, who's a very experienced woodworker, as well as a fine doctor. And we've spent a week making a trestle live edge table. Uh, I'll have Ken tell you about the wood and how it got here and where it came from. This wood has come all the way from southern Germany. About mm, 50 years ago, my son's mother-in-law, Sylvie, planted this tree as a young child. And eventually on their farm in southern Germany, it blocked their view of the Alps. They cut it down. And uh, shortly after Alex and Anna, Alex my son, and Anna my daughter-in-law got married, we went to Germany to visit them. And I saw this huge log on the ground. And uh, I said to Sylvie, uh, what's going on with this tree? And she said, oh, you know, it was blocking our view of the Alps. And I said, well, if you can get that cut into slabs and come to America, I will make the kids a table. Having absolutely no idea about what was actually involved in that. We've used a number of tools in this project. To, one, we've used this uh, Felder KF500, which is both a table saw and a shaper, as well as that hammer planer joiner to bring a lot of this wood to uh, size, more down in the trestles than anything. For these big slabs, we took them to a mill and had them run through a woods planer. Uh, we've used fest tools. We used their 55 track saw to cut glue ready edges on these two slabs to get them together. We align the slabs with four dominoes that we shot into the edges. We've used uh, the Rotex sander extensively in the building of this table. And we've also used Festool knockdown fasteners so that these trestles can actually be taken apart from the stretcher and off the table and we can transport it. We've also used a fair number of hand planes to clean up edges and break edges. Uh, we used the shaper facility of the 500 to put perfect chamfers on all the trestles. Here Ken is using the Felder KF500 Professional set up as a shaper to ch chamfer the ends and sides of the trestles. He's doing the cope cuts before he does the stick cuts, which will come next. This wood came from Lindau on the Bodensee in Germany, which is not very far from Hall in the Tyrol, where this Felder machine was made. So really, one of the things that I particularly enjoyed about our uh, voyage through this wood is that the wood spoke to both of us equally strongly. And I can remember when we were picking out the slabs for the top, we rolled them over, flipped them over, and we looked at each other and said, this is it. And then I, then I really knew we were in sync when we saw this board for the bench. And we said, my god, this is the bench. And uh, it flows. We cut it, we cut it in half so that it was a doable bench in two pieces um, for their apartment. And uh, it flows from one to the other. And uh, you designed the legs for me and uh, showed me how to turn them. Um, your uh, 10,000 million hours of turning. <laughs> 10,000 hours always helps. <laughs> always helps. And uh, I think by the eighth or ninth leg, since we had one that we wanted to redo, uh, my fear of the uh, skew was diminished. And uh, my respect for the spindle gouge was even greater. We also made a cool little jig that we could apply and drill these holes at a 15 degree angle but splay 45 degrees to the center axis of the benches so that we have these feet doing a good job of preventing racking 
and giving good tip over standards to this bench. It was kind of a fun little challenge. We had a good time doing yeah. it. We used a big 18 volt uh, Festool drill to drill the holes. These were 15 16 holes and it pretty much just ate through that wood. Yeah. No, we uh, um, have, a, I think, a beautiful heirloom here to take it to Chicago because getting this up um, to a second floor condo uh, could be an adventure. To facilitate being able to take this up and down stairs into apartments, move it across the country, move it to Germany, move it wherever the kids want to, we're going to use Festool knockdown hardware uh, that will allow the trestles and the center stretcher to be easily removed uh, for transportation. Sure. I think we're enough, we can bring it up with a screw. That's amazing. Look how it pulled it right in. Yep. This oh ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Hope. Oh, feel how strong that is. Wow. Yep. Ken moved the table to his garage where he spent the next 10 days applying multiple coats of Waterlock's original sealer finish to bring out the natural color and beauty of the Carpathian walnut. Ken then transported the table to Chicago where it graces Alex and Anna's apartment and is on its way to being a Zaka family heirloom. <laughs>